Hello, welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to do something a little bit different. I have a couple of friends who shoot Fuji cameras along with me and we were having a discussion the other evening after a shoot and I asked them when the last time they checked their firmware on their Fuji cameras were and one of them looked like a deer in the headlights. So I showed him how to check the um, firmware and we'll go over that here in a minute. And it turns out he was running the firmware that came on the X-T4, which was 1.20. And then I have a new X-T5 that just came in and it's behind on the firmware at 1.04. So in updating these, I want to show you how to do that. One of the things too that we noticed is on his lens, he was at version 1.0. And there's quite a few updates since then. On my lens, I was actually at version 1.12. And there are a few updates to the lens as well. So when you update your bodies, make sure you're looking at the lenses, see what their versions are. And in the description, I have a link to Fuji's website for the updates, and we'll show you how to do that now. Okay, I have the card with the firmware update in the camera. I have a fully charged battery in the camera, and we're ready to get started. So I'm gonna hold the display key or button and turn the camera on. This will bring us up, shows us our versions. Uh, we have a fully charged battery, so we're going to hit OK. We're going to select the body to do the upgrade. We're going to go from 1.04 to version 2.10. Move up to OK and select OK. It says do not open the battery cover or turn off the camera. When the lens is attached, never remove it. Say OK. And now we are updating the firmware on this camera. While it's doing this, we'll talk about a few things for the upgrade. There is quite a difference in the autofocus with this upgrade. It does, uh, it's quite an improvement. It does, it does a lot better once you apply the firmware upgrade and finding the subjects in dark or low light situations. It focuses faster with less misses and in subjects that are further away. Now, could it be better? Of course, but there is a drastic improvement in this update. So we're gonna let this run. We'll come back once it is finished and check the versions to see where we're at. As you can see, the firmware version has been updated on the camera. We're now on version 2.10. So we'll turn the camera off and I'm gonna grab the card and prepare it for updating this lens as well. SD card is back in the camera. We're gonna hold down the display back button, turn the camera on. That brings us up. We see where body version is 2.10, lens version is 1.12. We're gonna say okay. This time we're gonna go down to lens and say okay. And the lens version, we're gonna go from 1.12 to 1.32. We're gonna say okay again, same warning. Okay for yes, and now it's processing. Again, do not open the battery cover, nor turn off the camera during upgrading. So I'm gonna pause you and we'll be right back once it's done. All right, after a couple of minutes, we see that the firmware has been updated on the lens as well. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, um, let me hear them in the comments below. One of the things I will say with the X-T5 also, now that I've updated the body, I can add it to the app. Before doing this update, this body um, would not work with the app, so. That's one of the reasons we wanted to update it. And this body, like I said, is brand new and it came with the older version of the firmware. I hope y'all have a good week and we'll talk to you soon.
Again, um, if you find this content helpful, uh, subscribe and give us a thumbs up.